All right, so people ask me why I talk about veganism all the time. And people think I'm very harsh when it comes to speaking about veganism and eating plant-based and having conscious sex. And there is a fucking reason for that, people. Your physical vessel is a vessel of light. Your actual physical body. Think of a machine. Think of a computer. And you're expecting the computer to work very well, even though all the wiring is all messed up and there is a virus eating the actual wires inside the computer. You can't expect the computer to work correctly. You, if there is a part, I, I'm, I don't really understand in computer. I'm just, I'm just kind of like trying to give you a, a picture. If there is a part of the computer that, you know, like, like it's, it's supposed to, to connect to the internet, let's say, for example, just the way our bodies is supposed to connect to our higher spirit, our heart, to the source itself. And there is something blocking it. There are entities that are blocking it. And make no fucking mistakes and I'm going to repeat this till the day I die. Even though I'm not really going to die. But consuming the flesh and blood of dead animals. And that includes dairy, yes, and eggs. Because you are consuming that torture, the pain, the suffering, and the fear energy and frequency. And you are living in that fear frequency. I don't give a shit how many YouTube videos you're watching, how many spiritual videos you're watching, how many ayahuasca trips you're taking. If you are consuming animals, you cannot reach that level of embodying the fullness of who the fuck you are. So wake up. And if you are having unconscious sex, you cannot, you cannot create a sacred union and you, you cannot reach those higher levels of your own light codes. Truth hurts. And it fucking, it's scary to wake the fuck up, especially in the world right now. And I totally understand why so many people choose to stay asleep. I don't, ex I don't accept it. I don't agree with it. I think it's dumb. But they choose it. So we have to focus on ourselves and we have to focus on the people who are willing to evolve. And the more people are, the more you find people getting out of your life, let them go quicker, quicker and quicker and quicker. This is probably going to sound weird for a bunch of you that listen to me for a while and think that I'm all about love and light and I am all about love and light. But in a spiritual community, people think that love and light is you know sitting in a yoga pose all day and speaking about fairies and don't get me wrong i love fairies i play with them all the time um and um thinking about the positive about everything and seeing the positive about everything we are in a spiritual war i don't think you get that some of you don't get that and even if some of you get that you're not taking the actions necessary to face it and deal with it We need more men to wake the fuck up and be angry. We need the vibration and energy of anger, of passionate, loving anger that is connected to the heart and higher source of the man. Why? Because we have a world that is controlled by fucking pedophiles and evil entities that are manipulating our DNA with dark magic and science and if you don't understand what like the pharma is which is like the modern day shamanism of like dark magic it's fucking ridiculous we're not going to go into that but we need men to step up and get angry if you are a man and you're not angry in your core about the fact that there are people on this planet that rape and kill innocent children you're not in your light. You're not in your divine fucking power. We need protectors. We need divine, heart-connected protectors to wake the fuck up. 
We don't just need your cock to, to have sex. We need you to be a protector of light and of truth. And we all need, men and women need to go through real initiation. And I cannot even begin to explain what that is. I want you to feel it in your soul. We have lost the, 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 the full meaning of the rights of initiation to, to enter and embody our full power as humanity. So you get angry. angry. Anger is a beautiful emotion. It is the first step. If you're not angry at what's happening in the world right now, you're not awake. We cannot stay in that anger. We transmute that anger into passion, into, into physical action, but we don't stay there. But it is a very necessary step in that, um, in that journey. So 